Okay, so here we are in your setup, and you know, as far as uh, club face, club face is squared up behind the center of the ball there. Club and ball are pretty much middle of your stance as you have it for your iron, that's ideal. Feet are about shoulder wide, and your feet and hips are lined up in a fairly complementary manner alongside the club face. It's just your shoulders that are a little bit open. And the reason they're slightly aligned left is, you can see how rigid that right arm is of yours. You can see how my right arm is more tucked into my body. keeps my shoulders squared. And how to do that naturally is it's basically that bottom hand of yours. You had it rolled over too much with the knuckle showing. You want to keep it more underneath that bottom hand so you don't see any knuckles and it's tucked into your body a little bit. I should actually see part of your left forearm in this image, and I don't, as you can see, right? Because that right hand's rolled over. So that opens everything up. That'll also relax you a little bit, too. Grip pressure-wise, maybe 7 out of 10 in the top hand, which is your leverage hand, the left hand, and about a 4 so softer in the bottom hand so that you can have it go along for the ride and not dominate, right? Uh, everything else, balance, body angles, posture, all very good. Going to watch your takeaway now. And you can see how the club's got a rolling fan. See that? Watch the first move. you got to open it up to release that elbow or you're stuck. So now it's all timing. So you roll it open. Other than that, you know, club's going back. Pretty good plane, but you want to have a good plane and the club face square, ideally, or close to that. So as you go to the top of your swing, you can see lower body stays pretty quiet. Knees remain flexed, which is good. You come back down a little bit over the top, but not bad. And then coming back down, look, your hands are timing it, and they're rolling and pronating, which squares the face up. But you can pull it, or you can cut it, depending on the timing factor. So, we square you up, as I mentioned. Then the golf club head will be able to go back in one piece, literally staring at the back of the ball, the leading edge of the club face, and going back naturally, and not having to be forced to belly to open the club face. Right? And you apply that to every club in your bag, from putting to driving, and that will keep you aligned to consistently to make a better shoulder turn and take the club back square from the ball and not be risking opening it up. Okay, so 